Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and as you can see I have four switches here today with me and they are either designed by Newfi or manufactured by Newfi, I'm not really sure but you can find them all on Newfi's website. So we're going to do a comparison between these four and you can take this video as a reference when you buying any of these if you're interested. Um, so let's start with this uh, blue one. This one is night breeze switches and uh, this one has a linear response. And for the operating force and travel, total travel, I'm not going to read them out because you can find all these data on their website. So I'm just going to uh, do a sound test later and, um, and possibly save, save some of your times. And uh, the red one, uh, this or the pink one is Rose Glacier switches and this one has a tactile uh, key response. Actually, this is the most strong uh, tactile key response that I ever uh, ever felt in in the, in the switches. So and uh, on my left hand side I have a Gatoron baby kangaroo and mechanical switches. And these are, this is, this is uh, not very rare comparing these two uh, because, well, Gatoron makes lots of different switches. So, uh, well, if you're a maniac, you probably already have uh, tried lots of them. So this is Baby Kangaroo and it has a uh, tactile key response. And uh, the last one is the brown one, okay? The, baby raccoon switches and this one has a linear uh, key response all right so i have all these four switches installed on my uh, single keyboard and this is halo 96 uh, manufactured by new fee and um, well uh, it's uh, it's a 96 percent keyboard so if you're interested go ahead and check that out uh, on their website or in one of my videos. Okay, so I installed these switches in, in a layout like this, okay? So I installed the baby raccoon switches on uh, WASD position, okay? And I installed uh, the baby kangaroo uh, on these symbol positions, okay, minus plus and brackets and all the way to uh, the question marks and comma, okay, all these symbols I have as uh, as uh, baby kangaroo, and um, on my numpad I have rose glaciers, okay, and uh, the last one. All of the rest uh, key switches are night breeze key switch uh, switches. Okay, so WASD are baby raccoons, and um, all the symbols are uh, baby kangaroo, and all of my numpads are rose glacier, and um, the rest of them are night breeze switches. So next up, I'm going to uh, install these keycaps back. All right, so I have all the keycaps uh, reinstalled. And uh, next up, I'm going to be comparing uh, them side by side. Okay, I'm going to start from uh, I would say uh, baby raccoon switches. So they are located at WASD. So that was uh, baby raccoon switches. And I'm going to move on to uh, night breeze switches. Okay, and I'm going to go back to Baby Raccoon again. 
you know, that was Baby Raccoon. Night Breeze. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm going to stop disturbing you. I'm just uh, going to uh, type them. Okay, so that was the difference between uh, Night Breeze and uh, and Baby Raccoon. Okay, and uh, next up. I'm going to type baby kangaroo and uh, and yeah with probably comparison with uh, night breeze switches because uh, why I'm comparing all against this night breeze switches because um, this is probably the one uh, that I read a lot about on the on the on their discord server or on the uh, on the reddit so lots of people are looking for these switches and um, you know uh, they most of the times they're out of stock so yeah that's why I'm comparing them against uh, night breeze switches so yeah I'm going to try out this uh, baby kangaroo so you can get uh, how it sounds So that was baby kangaroo. And I'm going to type uh, night breeze switches. So that was the difference between uh, baby kangaroos and uh, night breeze switches. Okay, so the last one is uh, rose glacier switches. And this is by far the most tactile switch that I, uh, you know, experienced so far. And um, they are uh, located on, on my numpads. So... Okay, so that was Rose Glacier. And I'm going to type Night Breeze again so you can compare uh, those two. Okay. Rose Glacier. Rose Glacier, Night Breeze. Okay, so Night Breeze. All right, so that was uh, pretty much uh, about all of them. And uh, in my opinion, well, I personally like Night Breeze switches uh, a lot because I think they they are linear but they are not as linear as uh you know cherry red i think cher cherry red is you know too smooth for me um sometimes i um uh, i type uh using you know a bit more force um yeah but I think if you're if you if you have a very strong fingers, then I think night breeze switches uh, is the one is the one of the linear switch can satisfy you. And uh, for others, uh, baby kangaroo. This one is tactile. Uh, in my opinion, it's uh, it's okay. It's um, uh, it's right here. The feeling is. Um, 
little bit closer to Gateron Braun, but uh, the tactile feedback is uh, a bit stronger than Brown. So, yeah. And uh, Baby Raccoon, this one is a linear switch. And um, I think this one is good too. Yeah, this one is good. Definitely, uh, in my opinion, I like... Uh, I like Night Breeze the most, and then Baby Raccoon, and then probably uh, Gatoron White or Gatoron Creamy, and uh, the last one probably, if I, if I don't have any other options, I'll go with uh, Cherry Red. So, and Rose Glacier, well, this one is, uh, this one is a picky switch, I, I'd say, like, uh, uh, it's a picky switch. If you if you really like this feeling, because you know it has operating force like 60, uh, 60 grams plus minus five, so definitely this one needs more force, and um, it it sort of has a very bumpy feeling. You know, it's almost like a membrane switch uh, feeling. So yeah, this uh, I wasn't like you know typically fan of this, but um, but probably some of you I love love this yeah. So yeah, so that wraps up today's video. And the last one, if you're interested in their price or any any other like uh, technical specifications, feel free to uh, go on to Newfie's website and uh, check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, see you guys next time.